graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jody, who will share with us what a primary 6 student will be learning for science in May. So Jody, what are they learning this month? Okay, for May, the school will be heading to a topic on adaptations. And students have to know that there are two types of adaptations, which is structural adaptation and behavioural adaptations. So for this topic, uh, they actually have to memorise and apply. So for, let's look at the memorization part. For memorizing, uh, the first have to know, they have to know the general knowledge about the animals. Okay, for example, if you look at this question, question A, they have to know that the grizzly bear is the type of habitat the grizzly bear lives in. And for B, they actually have to compare the habitat of the grizzly bears and the polar bear. Secondly, the two different types of adaptations, which is structural and behavioural. An example for structural adaptations would be the body covering of animals. And for in terms of plants, uh, we, they could actually know the seed special structure. And they, thirdly, they also have to know the features of these structures, which is for feathers, okay, the, uh, the features will be, it will be lightweight, for beak, there are many different types of beak. They have long beak, short beak, or narrow beaks. And for plants, their seed size, they have to know the features of that structure of the seeds, which is they are small, they are big seeds, and they are indigestible seeds. Okay, so you have mentioned three uh, parts that they need to memorize. So, can you elaborate more on the application part? Okay. For higher level questions, students are required to apply two or more of these three parts into the question. So let's, if we look at this example, uh, C, a question C will, sh uh, will illustrate the usage of the three different parts that I mentioned earlier. So for, if you look at the question, how is the grizzly bear? How, for the word how, they actually have to apply their adaptations and their features, which is part two and three. And when it comes to, we have to relate it to the habitat. In, which is part one, whereby students must know or have the general knowledge of the habitat of the animal. So, for example, um, for how, okay, they must know the adaptation of the animal, which is fur. They must know the feature, which is thick coat. And they must know that this uh, is linked to the habitat because the habitat is cold. And they also will have tests on behavioural adaptation, which is shown in the answer here, where shedding of fur is a behavioural adaptation because it becomes warmer when, when, uh, during the hotter months, and also when it eats a lot, it's also a behavioural adaptation as well. So as you can see here, students not only must just memorise the science concept shown in their textbook, they also must have a general knowledge of this animal in order to answer this type of higher level application questions. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free as well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A-Grader Learning Centre.